If you aspire to being a realistic painter, it's really helpful to get good at comparing what you see in your subject and what you see on your canvas. In this video, I'm about to share with you a fun and effective way to hone this skill. In an earlier video, Seeing Color, we explored how we have to train ourselves to overcome the identifying color of an object. For instance, we saw that although we think of snow as being white, in fact, a patch of snow reflects a rainbow of colors. Our brain tends to do the same thing for shapes of things. Picture a chair. Likely, this is not similar to the image that came to your mind. On the other hand, this image clearly says chair. To maintain our sanity, our brains establish symbolic interpretations for the things in our lives. As artists, to capture things realistically, we must look beyond these symbols and see things as they actually are. Of course, there's no decree that we must do this. We may wish to alter what we see even to the extent of extreme abstraction. For the purposes of realism, though, we need to train our eye to what is really there and then take the second important step of comparing this with what we have on our canvas. Developing this reflex is the focus of this video. Tools such as viewfinders, grids, mirrors, and even calipers help painters to notice these discrepancies. A nifty way to strengthen this reflex is to procure one of the popular Spot the Difference picture puzzle books. There is a wide variety of these books which typically feature a pair of photographs that are identical upon first glance. In fact, the second photo has a certain number of differences. To spot these, you must scan one photo and compare it to the other. Exactly the same visual process needed for overcoming our brain's symbolic interpretations. If you'd like to give this a try, pause the video and see if you can spot the eight differences between these two paintings. I've included obvious and not so obvious differences. The Spot the Difference books often sequence the photo pairs such that they become increasingly challenging. Some of these puzzle books are even available featuring old master's paintings. Also available are apps such as this one for mobile devices. There are so many elusive skills needed to become the painters we dream of being. I think it's pretty wonderful in this case to have this readily accessible brain training activity that directly improves our visual acuity. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for your subscribes and likes. They keep me inspired to keep on creating videos. If you have any questions or if there's a certain topic you'd like a video about, please leave a note in the comments below. I look forward to painting with you.